An emotional reunion for hundreds of prisoners finally free as the International Committee of the Red Cross works with Saudi officials and Houthi rebels to try and end the eight years of war upending Yemen. And it's our hope that this kind of action by, by both sides, uh, the release and the transfer of so many detainees, can provide momentum for more reconciliation. As an end to the fighting will help reduce uh, the human suffering so many Yemenis have endured in the recent years. Prisoners packed into planes heading to the rebel-held capital, Sana'a, and government-held Aden. Parties from both sides of the war flying towards freedom. It's the most beautiful day of our lives because we got out of captivity and now we're safely heading to our country and under the protection of the Red Cross. I was in prison for three years and eight months. I feel such a great joy that I cannot describe. Praise be to God who brought us out of these unjust prisons. We suffered a lot torture, lack of food, as well as the psychological fallout. We ask God to free our fellow prisoners and all other prisoners. The prisoner exchange follows intense diplomatic talks earlier in the week between a Saudi delegation and Houthi rebels with the goal of hopefully reaching a permanent ceasefire. We thank all those who trusted us, who entrusted the ICRC to do this work. We thank the parties to the conflict who reached to this conclusion, and we are sure that this is good, a good boost for better days for Yemen. And we are also confident that the success of this release operation will bring more chances for more release in the future. Roughly 150,000 Yemenis have died in the war, and more than 23 million need some form of aid to survive. But the latest prisoner swap fills the country with hope, a sign in the skies that a near decade-long war could soon come to an end.